everybody out of their money. It's not even the point about the money. I'm getting married in two days. I will get them. Honest to God, I will get them. I need them, sir. Can't do nothing without them. Eventually, a compromise is reached. Lily will be given her wedding dress and one gown for her chief bridesmaid. The other ten bridesmaids will have to go without. Now I have no bridesmaids at all. Nice to think for the photos and things to look back on. Now I haven't got any. brides on both sides of the Irish Sea. Their wedding day is rarely the first time they've worn an extravagant white dress. On the day of baby Alice's christening, the Joyces have gathered en masse at the family home. Hello, John. It's her day today. Come on, bring her. Hey, Alice. Hey, Alice. Hey, Alice. Mum Ellen has commissioned an amazing diamante encrusted christening gown to mark the occasion. But it's not met with approval. <laughs> Soon reinforcements are called in. Give us her bottle, will you? And tie his bottle. Yeah, her foot up, her. I ain't taking her off when she's blessed yet. Oh, that's ridiculous now, wouldn't the child cry in the Although the day will bring the whole Joyce clan together, one member of the family will be missing. Ellen and Joe Jr.'s first child, Rosie. There's uh, Rosie's handprint, her footprint. There it is, and uh, there's it again there as well, like, her photograph and mother. That's the day that she was born, and uh, there as well, yeah. There's her handprint and footprint. Will you be thinking about her a lot today? Oh, it's just not even today, like, I think about her every day, like, yeah. I think about her the whole time. While the women struggle with the baby, the men gather next door. It's a proud day for Joe Senior, the head of the family, and the Joyce's chief spokesman. I'm going to tell you, I still have to learn how to pour an eye in the but it's not the same thing with the other little girl, the last nursing, and the one this. I will be all soft tongue for the young men. A real love all pets. Joe's role in today's proceedings won't be confined to wise words. Amongst the Joyce's, he has other unique talents. I ain't doing man in this house. I can pour a knot on a tie. Did you have to do the ties for all the men in the house? Every one of them. Years ago, the dog was saying to me, Daddy, do this for me, fix this for me, Daddy. And they never learned to say, that's a real pet like, you know what I mean? Now they can't pour a knot on their own tie. How many grandkids do you have? How many grandkids do we have? I think we have about 30 or 35. I'm Ray. How many grandchildren have we? One great grandson and you have 33 grandchildren. 33 grandchildren and one great great grandchild. Here. And how old are you? I'm 60. And by God, I'm still fighting. <laughs> stressful than you planned. It's very, very stressful. I never knew it was going to turn out like this. The child is all uncomfortable in her dress and everything. With baby Alice finally inside her extravagant christening gown, the family can depart for the church. But the technical difficulties have left them running late. Where are you off to now? To the church to get her baptised. Very stressed. I'd like if it was over. Almighty God, you sent your only Son to save us from the slavery of sin and to give us the freedom only your sons and daughters enjoy. We now pray for you. Uh, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mary Alice has been christened and is now a child of God. Well done. Beautiful verses. <laughs> After the stress of the morning and the formalities of the church... Will you ring up there and we can get Roshi to ring him, will you? The celebrations are long overdue, but they're being made to wait. This is not letting us in. There was a book there, the whole lot receipt, uh, that then we showed the receipt, the whole lot, notice that you're not getting in. That was it. 
Despite booking ahead, the family's reputation has tripped them up. We're in there. How to jigger? How to jigger? All in now. But the luck of the Irish is with the family today. And eventually, they're allowed in. Didn't want to let us in the start. Because the phone now we were travellers. That's basically it, wasn't it? Ah, uh, just desperate country. England, you get anywhere, anywhere in England, Ireland, Norway. Bad place. And the celebrations can begin. into the party spirit. And while the younger generation of Joyce's take to the dance floor, Joe is providing his own entertainment. I've been lonesome. Go on, big fella. I've been empty. I got a naked way down inside. The Joyce's big day has drawn to a close. But in England, Lully's is almost upon her. The night before the wedding, and the 16-year-old and her bridal party have gathered at a nearby hotel in Huntingdon. I can't put up anymore, he's made a ball. But having spent months preparing for the big day, the problems with the dress have cast a sour note over the proceedings. Oh, my life will look up. Bend over, Lisa Marie, I'm trying to do this. There's a ribbon this big to do your whole back with. The front of that skirt is horrible. No, it's really disgraceful. The diamonds are coming off already. It's not nice enough. Put more diamonds on there. Don't like it. Don't like the front of it. Yeah, what can you do? Nothing. When's tomorrow? So I have to do with this. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid ass on the wall. Now ten bridesmaids down, Lully must find other ways to add sparkle to her big day. And no one is too young to be given the signature Irish traveller makeover. Torture the children. Who's next? Let <laughs> me see. Let me see, me girl. Last, last, last. Let me see. Show the camera, look. 